Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, T2 at DVS, and before we go any further, a massive thank you for any of you who have liked, subscribed, or commented in the past. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Without you, this channel just would not be possible or worth it. If you haven't clicked the like and subscribe button, make sure you head on over and hit that like and subscribe button. It will drive us to make more content. So what are we gonna take out a look today? Take out a look today. Yeah, I think that's why you say it. Anyway, so quite excited about this one because it's a little bit different to what we normally produce using CCTV products. This one, is a brand new product from Bold. So Bold is a manufacturer. What drew me to these is their simple, innovative technology that's everyday applicable, really cost effective, everyone can use it. There's a use case for lots of different things. It is the Bold Smart Lock. Available in a couple of different versions and we will put a link in the comments below uh, about the different lock sizes that are available. But it's basically a replacement Euro cylinder that you can simply measure, replace the Euro cylinder so any door, window, lock that uses that Euro style cylinder with the centre pin, which I'll show you shortly. Um, when we take it out of the box, I've already got a door prepared behind me, which we're going to install this bolt smart lock on. But in essence, it's a cool smart lock, battery powered, that allows you by a Bluetooth on your phone, so there's an app on your phone that's free, by a Bluetooth, when you're near, you can activate it. There's also the bolt clicker, which you can put on your key ring, which you can press to activate the lock when you're near, so it allows you to turn it to then engage the lock-in mechanism, then open the door. And there's also this kit, so this kit is the lock and the connect, so this is called the bold bundle pack, the connect and smart cylinder. So we have a smart cylinder plus the connect, so that's Wi-Fi and long range Bluetooth. So from the app, as long as it's got Wi-Fi in the building, if you're connected and the app can see it, you can also open the door from anywhere for somebody that may be trying to get in, like dropping a parcel off, one of your work colleagues has forgotten their keys, or even your brother, sister, mother, wife, uncle, auntie, whatever that may be, you can open the door from anywhere in the world using the Bold app. Also great if you've got an Airbnb application, other places are available to use. If you've got an Airbnb style accommodation, there is a paid service. I'm not going to talk about it on this video, but if you do have it, drop us a message. We can give you more details. It's a small subscription charge, and that allows you to grant access to users that can get through it at time schedule. So if you're turning up on a Saturday morning to the property, you only you can gain access between the Saturday and the Monday, and then they'll kick you out, and then they can clean it, and the next lot can come in. So there is an application for those Airbnb style um, scenarios where there isn't something really quite on the market that does actually fit a small subscription charge and we can talk about that in a separate video or drop us a comment below and we'll get back to you on that with more details so bold is a fantastic company if you haven't checked them out go check them out type in bold locks into a web browser and go and see their marketing is so cool so innovative that's what drew us to them it's very dvs style um, and we're super excited to bring this lock uh, set up to you because there's not that much on the market that sits like in that sort of residential uh, smart lock-in that's affordable, easy to install, low maintenance, but provides a high level of satisfaction and durability. This, we believe, is it. So, a couple of different versions. So, the first thing you need to install is, and this is the best bit, you need a screwdriver, so a Phillips and a flat blade, not much more, and two hands, preferably. A tape measure. You need to measure the lock before you produce or buy the lock that fits that Euro cylinder. As most of you are aware, the Euro cylinders are available in different sizes. We stock the different sizes. If we don't have them in stock, we can get them pretty much next day. So just measure the lock, and I'll show you how to do that with this tape measure very shortly. So you measure the lock, that will give you your lock size, and we'll also um, put a screenshot of what those lock sizes are shortly, uh, later on in this video even. Uh, you buy the lock, take the old lock out, slot this one in, put the centre pin back in there, use the app to program it, and it's as easy as that. In sort of five minutes, you should be able to change the lock, get it online, and give that to the customer. So, right, so we've got the lock here. What we'll do is look at the lock first. I've already got this one added to my phone. So it's a simple style lock. So this lock only uh, works with the app. Uh, they're 
battery orientated or operated. Um, this one is the bundle one, of course. So this is the lock only. And if we were fitting this, this one is the SX43. So you can see the SX43 millimeters. So There's quite a big door this would fit. So inside the box, you get uh, a box of, let's just fall them out into here. You get the fitting instructions. You get some screws and some, they're like packers to, so if the lock stands out too much, you can actually make it look a bit neater and fit these packers to bring the packer more closer to the lock edge, so it's aesthetically quite pleasing. It's up to you, depending on the, the sort of layout and the style of the door, you may or may not choose to fit those packers. You have the lock itself, which I'll come back to. You have a center pin screw. You have a little screwdriver Allen key. And you also have the fitting instructions. I'll put all these bits back in here so I don't lose them. So with the fitting instructions, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Scan the QR code to fit the fitting instructions. So simple, if you want to, don't want to read it, scan the QR code and it brings up the fitting instruction video. Scan that QR code and it downloads the free app. Very simple. This is the fitting instructions and it's super, super simple. Now, the biggest mistake most people make on this lock is it does have the SKG rating. So you can see the SKG rated, tested, verified, whatever you wanna say. There's the center pin. That, so when this sits in the door, that center pin goes through there to hold the lock in place. And you can see the rotating barrel. This element of it, so the bold mechanism, that's the touch, if I press that, you'll see it lights up, goes green. This mechanism is fitted on the inside of the door, not the external side of the door. Now the lock can be used on an external door, that is not an issue, but make sure this cylinder is fitted on the outside and this is fitted on the inside. Underneath the battery compartment, so underneath on the backside of the inside, you'll see there's a little, two little prongs, pull that out, that is the mechanism in there that has the Bluetooth reader and it also has the battery. So if you need to change the batteries, depending on use, they can last one to two years, you can replace the batteries in there. It's a completely sealed unit. And then once you've done that, you simply slot it back in to the carriage and locate those black lugs very easily. It'd help if I actually put it in the right way wouldn't it Dave okay so there we go so you'll see there are two little black plastic lags it does only go wrong way there's a little groove there um, and I didn't put it in the right way but typically I'm tired but when I make videos and I'm tired I do make mistakes like most of us because I'm a human and there is a little uh, screw if you want to screw that in there to stop that being prized out you can do that also but this is on the secure side of the door so you shouldn't have any issues this is the standard euro cylinder locking spindle on the inside of the door you have free exit and entry so that will spin and engage on the external of the door so this is the handle on the external of the door this free rotates you can see there the spindle does not move when the door is not engaged or the door is not able to be locked um, and again these packers can be put on to increase or decrease the diameter outside if somebody was to pull this lock off there isn't a key mechanism in there and this rotates freely this is what i love so much about this lock this would still rotate freely so even if they took the little grub screw out of there de disassembled it it still it wouldn't look very pretty but you couldn't still open the door the only way you can do it is if somebody is inside and you press the button or via the app um, or by the clicker that's been programmed now if i show you before i get the app out so again that rotates freely like you can see here that doesn't so this is the outside of the door when i engage the so if i want to press the button here or the app button so we'll do it with this button first it engages the cylinder and you can see that spindle will free rotate which means this is now engaged and again now it's stopped so you get like the five seconds to open the door which makes it really convenient really easy super convenient very little moving parts 
um, and this is another reason it's really well designed um, for the cost that this product is of course it costs more than a cylinder by yourself but in essence you don't need the key because this is the key the whole thing becomes the key the app is the key the clicker is the key or the connect unit which is the wi-fi bluetooth is the key some people have asked me what happens if your battery runs out of power or you lose your phone now that's a great question they've also thought of that in the app there is an option to enable a pin mode and now the pin mode acts like a safe so if you have lost your phone is died or the app doesn't work or there's no bluetooth or some reason why you can't use your phone or the clicker to access the building or your house or your shed or whatever it is you put this lock on there is a way in the app you have to enable it by default it is disabled but you set it up like a safe so if you set up one two three four as a pin you'd have to go once round twice round three times round and then four times round now depending on what that pin code was set as depends on how many revolutions each way like a safe that would then unlock it which would allow you to get into the building so it's the same as using the app but it's a little bit less secure because somebody could stand there trying to guess that for a long time which is why by default it's off but it is able to be enabled if you feel you need that as a safe option again with the battery it will tell you when it's running low like the app will tell you if the battery's running low and uh, so you are able to replace this in plenty of time before the lock does or the battery does die uh, and not able to then open the door what i would say is make sure you do monitor that correctly because if the battery dies completely access to the building may become very difficult because it doesn't matter how many times you turn that this won't be powered up to energize the spindle to then open the door so if this is the only entrance in and out of the building one make sure that is you know the battery is sufficient for the job or make sure there's another secondary door with a fail safe to get in it may be a pain in the ass to get through that door but then it is another option there is only one door and this is it then you do need to consider that as a point of failure i would imagine okay so that is the lock itself like i said really well made that gets fitted on the inside that gets fitted on the outside that's the most important lesson you can take from this overview right now so if i put this to the side if i take the kit out now isn't they just beautiful um the boxing everything about this is very very well made and designed what i can do now is take this one out and this is a 33 mil so this one is the most ah oh, there's one on the other side silly billy this is the most popular 33 mil and i'll show you how to measure that again all of the manuals that you will see here same thing so 33 mil lock 43 mil so you can see the differences and we do 33 40 uh, and lots of sizes in between and then even bigger than that so we do have all of the most common lock size cylinders or cylinder lengths applicable to most applications you just need to measure it okay what you will see is when you first get the lock there's that little pull tab pull it out and that's going to engage and enable the battery you just did the beep on there so this is the one we're going to fit in our door shortly and i'll show you how to measure that i'm going to put that one to the side now just quickly this is the bold app now the simplest way to add it is download the app basically you can add a lock in 60 seconds it will add the lock i've called it dave door you can call it whatever you want now this is the lock we've added the test lock we were showing you first now look what happens to that light when i open it so i'm in vicinity of the lock and then using the app i'm just going to open it no i'm not there we go it's engaged now five seconds and done and you can set all sorts of parameters through that there's a menu you can add other locks so it's not just one lock installed so plus install device and just follow the simple on-screen instructions which we all do you can share it so i can share that with any other user so anyone can download the app and i can share 
this lock with another user which gives all of your family access to the house and then you've got all of the account stuff there and again they have got a quick support and integrations there so you can contact them directly if i go home choose my door and again quick access There we go, it was a lot quicker that time. I haven't had the app open for a while, so it'll run in the background now. And that is as simple as it gets. So it's contactless, quick, easy, and secure. If your phone's locked, you still can't open it, you have to unlock your phone, so there is a layer of security there. How convenient, how cool is that? We're bringing modern technology to the everyday user, and that's what I love about this company. High quality devices, super easy to use, super cost effective, but fixing everyday problems. I absolutely love the thing, as you can tell. So that's the app. This is the lock that we're going to fit. And then I need to open the box here. This is the connect device. So what we're going to do with this is with this bundle, this allows us to install it on Wi-Fi. There's a power supply in there to install it so the app can open the lock when you're not in the vicinity so your friend rings or you know your mum needs to go in and feed the cats which is typical of my scenario you can open the app anywhere in the world as long as you've got an interconnection internet connection and then open it using this bold connect device so that my mum doesn't have to install the app on her phone because she's not very tech savvy because she's okay to open the door as long as i open it for her so there's lots of different possibilities here and again so excited to bring this to you as you can probably tell so the next part of this is how to measure the lock. So I'm going to stop the video, move things around a bit, and then we're going to show you how to measure it and how to install the lock. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so it's as simple as this. To fit this new lock, there's a center pin that goes through here which retains this existing lock. Simply, I've removed the faceplate already, just there, so you know, guys. Remove that center pin lock. This lock, then you might have to turn it. It will slide out with a little bit of persuasion. And this allows me then to fit that new lock. As you can see there, it's an exact measurement. So the whole center pins line up. That's the outside, this is the inside. And I would simply slide that new locking mechanism in, put it back in, and then I'd be able to make use of this innovative technology. Now, there is a bit of an issue with this lock actually, because this lock here, where the chippies have cut it in, they've actually filled it with some, it appears to be araldite. So as you can see there, whilst they're the same length and diameter, this lock is a little bit higher than the existing, so it's maybe something to be aware of. So when you put them side by side, it's slightly taller, which basically means I've got to go and hack all that cylinder out now, or the wooden thing out to slot that in for then this to go in. Because of the way this door is being held together, I'm not gonna go and hack that out. I think it'd be dangerous and stupid to do that because um, it would damage the aesthetics of it. But basically, it is as simple as that. Like you can see, existing, new, slot them in, and then this would take over and become the locking mechanism or the unlock mechanism instead of the old key and thumb turn. So it's a super simple idea. Um, and then once you're in there, once you've got this in, you simply put that center pin straight through there. That would secure it in the door, and then this spindle turns or unturns this locking mechanism here by the levers inside. And it really is as simple as that, guys. What I am gonna do is walk you through, and I'll power up the connect and walk you through the, the adding of that new locking mechanism, like I said, through the connect and then the Wi-Fi capability of that. So we'll just transfer you back over while I put this butcher door back together. It's super simple in there like that. And in reality, this job should take no more than five minutes if you've measured it correctly and if you don't have a door that's damaged like mine guys okay so we've got everything in front of us um, we're going to show you how quick and how simple it is to add the lock and the bold connect uh, to the bold app the bold connect is connected by the usb c power supply which is powered up now that's ready to go the lock we need to add separately to so lock connect we're going to add them both to the bold app so simply open the bold app So I simply open the bold app here and we're going to add a door. We're going to add a lock to this. So simply add. Now it says here, press the button on this for five seconds until it turns red. So this is the locking device, adding this via Bluetooth to the app. There we go. 
So shortly press the button on your ball cylinder and the button in the app at the same time. So I've got to press that and then that. So that's going to link the two to my app now. So it's already updating the device. So this is how simple it is, guys. It really, really is that simple. So it might take a minute to upgrade it. So it's updating the device now. And make sure these are close to each other because again, it does communicate via Bluetooth. My screen dimmer is set to one minute, so I'm going to, have to keep pressing that. And this is how simple it is to install the lock to the app. Once it's installed, it literally takes minutes, guys, okay? So there you go. So that's flashing blue now. So it's updating the device. So it's transferring it from the phone to the device. That is going to quickly update it. Hands-free updating, how good is that? There we go. So what would you like to call it? I'm just gonna call it DVS. Return, done. And that's now done. As you can see there, if I go back to home, I've got two locks there. If I open DVS, press the open button there. There we go, locked, unlocked for five seconds. And again, same principle. I can share it, I can adjust the parameters, the activation log, activate with button on and off. So I can turn that, I can actually turn that on and off if I want. So if I'm going away and I don't want anyone to get out or, you know, use this, I can turn that off. Play activation sound is on. Activate time you can change that. So uh, minimum is five seconds. And then the auto activation and backup pin. Auto activation. It basically means when you're close to it, using the Bluetooth, it will open automatically. So it's very much hands-free. Um, again, up to you if you want that. I would prefer to press the button for added security, but you can have it as hands-free when you're next to the lock. You just need to change the setting in the phone. Uh, and then before I show you any more my private details, and then backup pin is off, but you can change the pin to pin one, pin two, and pin three. So you can change the, you've got three different pins. And that's literally as simple as it is. That lock is now installed. So when I press that, that will work and it will give me an activation log. If I go to activation log, it'll tell me, and when I refresh it, it'll tell me every time it was pressed, look. And then it will update once it's finished. It is literally as simple as that. Okay, device information, it tells you all about the serial number, etc. So that might be helpful. Um, and it tells you the battery as well, uh, the, the battery information. Now I'm going to add the bulb connect to it. So I'm going to go back to the home page and then add. So looking for a device. So press and hold the button of your bulb device till it goes red. And again, same principle. I'm just adding a device here. So only press that. So press that and then press that. So it's preparing your device. Again, updating. So it's going to do an update if it needs to, which it probably does because it's brand new. And then it'll transfer it to this and it'll start flashing blue as the transfer process. So you can see there, guys, it's literally as simple as that. I'm trying to keep the phone active so you can see everything that's going on. It's really simple to use. There we go, so that's updating it now. Then I can link, the, this connect, I can link to this door here. So what would you like to call your bulb connect? I can call it DVS connect. Call it whatever you want, guys. Wi-Fi for DVS connect. This is gonna find the Wi-Fi that I wanna to connect to. So I know which Wi-Fi it is, the, the DVS one. I need to put this password in, so I'm gonna, it'll send the password to this. This is quite a complicated one, actually. So 
So that's going to connect that to the Wi-Fi. So once this is connected to the Wi-Fi, guys, using the Wi-Fi, I can open this from wherever I want. So I don't have to be near it with my Bluetooth connection. I can actually be anywhere in the world, as long as I've got the app or someone's got the app. It's literally as simple as that. So the device connected has been installed. It's been successfully installed. I can't even speak, guys. So going into the connect, I can either open it or look at the details, or I can go to DVS, go to the settings, and I want to connect it to a, um, uh, I want to connect that lock with this, basically. That's what I was trying to say. So manage it, so I can transfer to account, transfer to organization, or uninstall device. But if I go back, device information, you can see there, bold connect. So it's connected to DVS connect. So if I then go and press this here, that door opened. No, I gotta link it, my bad. So I still gotta link it. Is the battery here still working? So DVS connect. I'm gonna link it, so connected locks here. You wanna connect it to Dave door or DVS, so I'm gonna connect it to the DVS one here. There we go, done. See, locks connected to DVS internet. So I can choose which one I wanna to connect to. So it's got two doors in there. So I can open that one there. That's quite far away, that lock, and it still worked. So this connects to the Wi-Fi and then transmits a Bluetooth signal to the lock. It's super cool, right? So from anywhere in the world, if I've got one of these in my build, then I can choose which door I want to, as long as the lock is within range, let's just open that door there. And then when it times out, it'll flash again on there. There you go, locked. Super, super simple. And that is as easy as it gets. What you can do, when you, if you want, you can enable a controller mode will allow you to activate your bull connect. So on controller mode, I can enable this and then it's got a relay output on the back. So I don't know if you can see on there, there's a little relay connection on there. So as you see there, you can actually connect uh, a, a relay when that door, you can connect a relay output effectively, normally open, normally closed. So when you, so enabling the controller mode will only allow you to activate your bulb connect. So basically, if I don't want to control a lock and I enable this controller mode, now it's do that, but it's triggered the relay there, which may be linked to a gate. It may be linked to a roller shutter, uh, an automatic vent, blinds, whatever. So these, you can actually build up a bit of a smart home using the nice free app Instead of using it to open a door, you can use it to control the relay, which can control any device you want in theory, and you can change the relay from normally open to normally closed. I don't want to do that, so like I said, if I connect that now, it doesn't open the lock, because it's in controller mode. But if I change it from controller off, now when I do it, Connected locks. I triggered that one over there. There you go. Triggered that one now. Super simple. And that's about it, guys. That was quite a long video for what I wanted to be a five minute video, but there's, I had to go through all of this because there was too much detail, too much stuff to do here. So, smart lock, to summarize, smart lock, really high quality, SKJ, SKJ, SKJ. SKG rated. This is the internal mechanism that's battery operated. Good battery life. External side, it's waterproof, weatherproof. You know, good security on it. Highly engineered. This bold connect unit can either open multiple doors that it can see. So if you've got multiple doors, you can choose which one. Or you've got a relay output so you can open a, uh, a shutter, a gate, a pedestrian thing, whatever that may be. Different lock sizes, simple to measure. Euro, key, Euro lock cylinder compatible, centre pin, and a free app, and it is that um, enterprise version for Airbnbs if you need it. Other than that, any questions, please do let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a long one, but I really hope you enjoy this product as much as I do. Thanks a lot, guys.